Now, Craig Prater and Patty Spittler with the real stories behind your favorite movies, filmmakers, and the creative arts. This is Real Life TV, presented by Heartland Film. Now to a filmmaker who's only 20 years old and already making his mark as an award winner. Can you believe that? Only 20 years old, amazing man. His name is Ashton Blackman, and he has a new documentary out that we'll discuss in just a moment. But first, I had the honor and the pleasure. Meet Ashton and his cat, too. And then I can pull up um, strings, for example. Ashton Gleckman is a young man of many talents, composing music scores, playing instruments, and making documentary films that have already put this young artist on the map. You first came to prominence with the Heartland Film Festival with the documentary, We Shall Not Die Now. At the time you made that, you were about 18 or 19 years old? 18 and 19, yeah. I remember being very young, I was seven years old, and I visited the Indiana Children's Museum, and they had just put in a new exhibit about Anne Frank. And I remember going and seeing that exhibit and first learning about the Holocaust and just being astonished that that actually happened. And I learned that I had a, that I had a great uncle who was actually one of the American liberators of the Buchenwald concentration camp. And so I realized when I was 19 I wanted to follow my dream of creating documentaries. Wow. And the first film I set out to do was We Shall Not Die Now. So I interviewed more than 25 people around the country, survivors, liberators, um, and historians, and then, and then traveled to Poland. And this is the jacket before you went to the gas chambers. We must now work to teach people of the importance of human equality. My film premiered in 2019 at Heartland. That was the first ever film festival I've been a part of. And then they like called my name and I was like, oh, it's obviously like one of those Oscar situations where they've, they've screwed up the text. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was an amazing experience. And I think that for anyone who has the chance, Heartland is a great place to visit and to check out all the films from filmmakers all around the world. So. His latest documentary film takes us to one of America's most economically distressed towns. The Hills I Call Home, and it takes place in this small town in the middle of the American Appalachian Mountains called Beattyville, Kentucky. You know, it's about hope and about striving to work together. He began his musical career at the age of six, and while he loves his guitars, he was drawn to the power that music and film can create. I love stories. I love reading. I mean, I love reading Milton and Tolstoy. I'm sort of a nerd. So this is, this is Mr. Gray, and he is uh, he's one of my best pals, right? So he'll, he'll just sort of come around and sit on my desk and hang out and... Listen to your music. Yes, exactly. Is so. he a critic? Does he tell you what to do? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. us artists always need our critics. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking forward to in the near future? So I'm currently heading into an exciting project that I've been working towards for a while. It's a six-part, six-hour docu-series on the life and legacy of John F. Kennedy, set to coincide with the 60th anniversary of his presidency. So we're going to be going into um, extreme detail into his life growing up, you know, everything from Harvard and the Shoot Academy as a teenager, going into the Second World War, his runs for the House and Senate. Um, his presidential run, as well as his legacy, and I'll be traveling around the country interviewing historians and, and politicians and other people associated with Kennedy, and we're going to be telling the full story. So it's, it's going to be an exciting project, and he's a figure that I've always been interested in, so I'm looking forward to that. So remember the name, Ashton Blackman. This 20-year-old will be making movie magic for years to come. What an amazing, incredible man. And you can now go right now to heartlandfilm.org for the link to watch Ashen's new film, The Hills I Call Home.